Uh, hello and welcome to The Print. Uh, right now we're joined by Mohammed Nalpad, uh, who is the president of the Karnataka Youth Congress. Uh, let's find out from him as in, you know, what role uh, the youngsters or how the Congress was able to reach out to the youngsters in Telangana to get the numbers that they have so far. Uh, uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, uh, so, Mohammed, uh, how did, I mean, what did you all do different in, uh, in Telangana? This See, uh, we applied what we did in Karnataka. The Kedas, the people of Telangana wanted a change. And exactly what they wanted, they saw in a leader as Revantrati. I feel a large part of this comes in the day when they walked in from Raichur into Telangana. The way that crowd came, we knew both states, Karnataka, uh, Karnataka and Telangana is going to be sweeped by Congress. So great leaders like D.K. Shivkumar ji and Sidramaya in the uh, Karnataka, same way here Bhatti ji and our Revan Reddy ji, they have worked really hard to bring the carers together, the youngsters together, give them the promises that has come in place. I think we in Karnataka, we played a huge role giving these guarantee cards door to door. Similarly, here also, door-to-door -door happened by Youth Congress. My counterpart, uh, Shiv Sena Reddy, has also worked really hard. My All India President, Shri B.V. Srinivas, also toured across the state and did his part. We were given responsibilities to manage a lot of things. We did what we had to do. Okay, so right now, uh, the numbers stand, I think, at about a uh, little over 64. Uh, so what's the next course of action? I mean, are they all going to be herded to Bangalore? <laughs> See, uh, we are fighting a huge missionary with a lot of undue advantage. So we need to secure our MLS. That is our primary job. And the party's troubleshooter, Mr. D.K. Shukumar, is here. So I don't think any TRS, BRS or BJP can touch anybody from Congress. Okay. Also, uh, how did you all you know, try and appeal to the minority voters in Telangana? See, across Telangana, the Muslims realized one thing. The Congress party is the only party that can be their voice. For a long time, here, especially in Hyderabad, MIM was having a huge presence. But they never fought beyond their seven seats. But in UP, they went and fought 100 seats. In Bihar, they fought 100 and plus seats. They only targeted where there is Muslims, we disturb them and make Congress lose. This is the strategy what they are. They are the B team of Congress. This was clearly told to the people of Telangana. They realized it and they voted them out. And now I will say one more thing. Next, when Asaduddin OAC contests for his MP, we will make sure that seat also they lose. That will be the aggression and the process we will work with. Okay. Lastly, now, uh, you know, how do you carry forward this momentum of, you know, retaining the youngsters and their aspirations in the Lok Sabha elections? See, South of India, we are clear. The people of South India do not want divisive politics. We want inclusive politics. Politics of hate is not going to work here. So we are very clear that the people here have done. And as we promised in Karnataka, we delivered our five promises. Similarly, we are going to deliver the six promises where directly people of Telangana, directly people of Karnataka are benefiting. This is what needs to be reciprocated to the rest of the country. Thank you so much. Thank you.